Well, that's our secret, man. But you know, one of the things that you guys don't get to see on TV is some of the crazy stories that happen when we go repossess in Hollywood. There's some crazy fools. Everybody thinks they're an actor, a star, or some shit, right? Am I right? Yeah, that's what happens. So, so I go to Hollywood, right? I knock on this door, right? I got my sister out there. She's hooking up to the car. If you can believe that shit. So I, I said, "Hey, oh boy, I'm here to get your car." And he says, uh, I got he, he was Baptist or something. And he says, oh, Repo Man, you can't take my car. I said, it's already on the hook. And he says, God's not going to let you take my car. I'm like, really? I said, God sent me. <laughs> so he tells me, hey, you read the Bible? Of course I read the Bible. So he starts quoting some scripture, right? He says, hey. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. That's you, Cholo. <laughs> Blessed is he. Hey, what's the matter, girl? You don't read the Bible? Huh? That's right. Who in the name of charity, that's the stripper over there, all right? Shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper, and I find they're lost children. You guys are the lost children. So I told the guy, hey, chill out, Denzel. What's going on, right? No, this guy gets crazy. The guy turns around and he says, and I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord. When I lay my vengeance upon thee. What do you think he did next? <laughs> Pulled out a gun and back. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dog, this ain't a Pulp Fiction movie, dog. <laughs> this is the shit I gotta deal with when I'm in Hollywood. That's what happens. So some of you guys know you guys, the show just came back on the air, right? We're on hiatus, right? I wanna thank all you homeboys. You know, in the pen that were writing me letters when I had my problem. And TJ, do you guys know what happened? I told you I was gonna tell you, right? So anyways, these girls had the same situation that I did. So here I am with a bunch of buddies of mine, those two cabrones right there, the brothers. Okay, we're in TJ, right? Drinking, having a good time. Don't worry, bro, I know your wife's here. I'm not gonna get you in trouble. All right, look at him, he's nervous. He's nervous, cabron. So here I am, right? And I'm at the bar, man. I'm having a good time and I'm drinking, doing my thing. Yeah, and the next thing you know, I pass out, right? Bam! On the ground. I wake up, dog. I wake up and I've been kidnapped, cabrón. I was kidnapped in TJ by the pinche federales, bro. They, those cabrones called up Telemundo for a ransom. And they were trying to charge per pound. <laughs> you know what Telemundo told them? Telemundo says, Mira, put Gordo on a diet for six months and call us back. <laughs> that shit ain't funny, homeboy. I'll get my sister to kick your ass. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Damn, boy. I love this crowd. This is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying?